Station, your 106.3, uh, Scott Hammer with Brandon Flowers. Not, I'm not with him right now, though, because we've got another very famous guy in the studio. Hi, David. How are you, buddy? Hey. All right. Um, and again, I need to hear all the fans out there. It's so nice to hear people cheer. Everybody makes sure. Woo! inspired you to do American Idol in the first place? Was this something that, that you decided to do? Was it, uh, did somebody you've seen before? What, what made you decide uh, to do that? You know, everyone wanted me to, like all my friends and my family wanted me to go audition. Well, thought I should go audition, but I was like, well, what's the point of going? Because it's like, there's so many people that audition, and it's like, why would I stand out? There's no reason for me. I'm a pretty bland person in it like compared to the other people there there are some amazing singers like, well, like every single person at every corner has a, an amazing voice so it's like there's no way <laughs> so, but it was like you know there's an ex there's something for me like to, to learn I've always been a fan and I just it'd be cool to see what the experience was like and I just felt really strongly that there's something I needed to learn and going and well, I definitely learned a lot because I was there a lot longer than I thought I was going to be. But um, right. it was it was really cool. I mean, it was it was really surprising just to keep going week after week, still being there. But now, when you were yeah. there, when you were in like when you were in line outside, like do you guys actually stand out there and stand in line waiting to get in the audition? Yeah. Did yeah. you uh, did you ever did you, was <laughs> there like people time. spontaneously breaking out in harmonies and singing oh, yeah. together? Oh yeah. Oh, all the time. Yeah. Was it an amazing experience? It I was mean, amazing I until like. Uh, till like 3.34 in the morning where it's like, okay, you guys sound amazing, but I'm really tired. <laughs> <laughs> but like, people just did not stop singing, and I was just kind of like, wow, I felt like I was going to die. I was so tired. <laughs> was just, it was just exhausting. What is your favorite song to perform live? Uh, it depends on the day. It depends on what, how I'm feeling. You know, because you know, usually you sing a song that, you know, that kind of shows how you're feeling at the time. Uh, so sometimes you want to sing some up tempo. Sometimes you want to sing something more intimate. Uh, I've always loved singing Angels, Robbie Williams. That's always been one I've loved to sing. I love singing I'll Be, Adam McCain. That's a good song. Um, yeah, so it's 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 fun to sing Crush too, just because it's one that everyone knows. But now you have you ever done it acoustically? Yeah. I haven't. Never. No, actually, this I I think I'm about to do it right now. <laughs> So are you saying that on your 106.3, this is the first that we're like we're having the world premiere of the, the <laughs> a, a, a guitar acoustic version, I guess. So. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, do you guys want to hear? Oh yeah. yeah. David Archuleta on your 106.3. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh,
lost, so mesmerized And I just got to know Do you ever think when you're all alone All that we could be, where the sink could go Am I crazy or falling in love? Is it really just another crash? Do you catch a breath when I look at you? Something happened for the first time deep inside Was a rush, what a 